Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday afternoon. Welcome to another stretch break. Super excited to get our bodies moving this afternoon. As always, if you have anything today that's a little bit tight or an area you'd like me to focus on, let me know. Go ahead and drop that in the chat and I will add that into what we're going to be doing today. Yes, I know, Joan, I am in a different place today. <laughs> have to switch up the scenery sometimes, right? Um, otherwise, it's, you know, the same thing every day. It's a little bit of Groundhog Day. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to be on the ground today, and we're going to start off in a shin box position here. So we're going to get those hips working, and we are. I'm going to have my left foot starting in front, and my right foot is going to be off to the side and in the back. So at 90 degree angles in both our hips and in our knees. And we'll take a second to get a little bit comfortable here. Sometimes at the end of the day, the hips are a little tight. So I know this is feeling a little uncomfortable for me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and flow through moving side to side here, getting a little bit of a side body stretch. So I'm going to start off. My left leg is in front. My left hand is going to come off to the side. And you can either do your hand or your elbow. Right hand is going to reach up and overhead. So we're reaching over head getting a nice stretch into our side into our lats a little bit into our back stretching our back out a little bit and we're gonna take a deep breath here into the belly and on the exhale we're gonna go ahead and plant that hand on the outside of our back leg reaching over with the other hand so i my right hand is right outside of my right leg my left arm is reaching over so this side you might feel this a little bit more in the hips than anything that's still okay. We're getting a good stretch here. Nice, big, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling, we're going to go ahead and go back to that first position. So left arm on the ground, right hand reaching overhead, if that is the leg that is out in front. Reaching a little bit further this time than we did the last time. Getting a nice stretch here. Big inhale. And on the exhale, going to that second position. So right hand outside of the right leg, reaching up overhead. Trying to reach a little bit further this time. Breathing nice and deep into our sides here. And on our next exhale, we can return to center. Awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do, still staying in this <laughs> words, shin box position. On the same side, we're gonna go ahead and plant that same arm of the leg that's in the front. So my left leg is in front, left arm is off to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and do some rotations here through the spine, warming our spine up here. So we're gonna take a nice big inhale to repair. And on the exhale, we're gonna reach that hand all the way through in between our arm and our body, exhaling, reaching as far as we can and returning back to center. So we're gonna go ahead and do that a few more times. So inhale to repair. Exhaling, reaching as far as we can. And returning to center. Awesome. And one more here. Inhale to prepare. Exhaling, reaching through as far as we can. And returning to that center position. And now we're going to go ahead and flip over to the other side. So now my right leg is going to come in front. My left leg is going to be off to the side here. And again, I'll give us a second to kind of get a little bit comfortable here. You may notice at this point that one hip or one side is tighter than the other. For me, this is my better side. So this feels a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to start off with those side stretches first. So my right leg is now in front. My right arm is going to go on the ground, reaching overhead with my left arm. Nice, big, deep breaths here, exhaling, feeling that stretch through the side of our bodies here. And nice, big inhale on the next exhale, reaching over, left hand on the outside of the left leg, reaching overhead with that right arm. Nice, big inhales, feeling that stretch through the hip through our low back, through the, our sides here. Big inhale on the exhale, back to that first position. So elbow or hand on the ground, reaching overhead as far as we can. 
Really relaxing into the stretch, making sure our lower body is staying nice and loose here. Big inhale and on the exhale, planting that hand on the outside of that back foot, reaching overhead with that opposite arm. My right arm is over my head. Yes, it took me that long to figure out which arm it was. And on the next exhale, we can return to center. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some reaching. So my right leg in front, right arm out to the side, inhale to prepare. Exhale, reaching through with that left arm as far as we can. And returning to center. So inhale to prepare. And exhaling as we reach. and back to center. All right, last one here, inhale to prepare and exhaling, reaching through. And ending up where we started. And from here, we're gonna get out of that shin box position and we're gonna make our way onto our sides here. So I'm gonna start on my left side and this is going to be one of my favorite stretches. We're gonna do the pretzel stretch. This is gonna help us open up our full body here. So I'm on my left side. I'm gonna take my top leg. So my right leg is gonna come across my body onto the ground. So the knee and the ankle both on the ground. My bottom hand, which is my left hand right now, putting on top of my knee to help that stay there. And then my top hand is going to come across, grab onto the ankle or foot of my bottom leg or my left leg. And if you can't reach that, go ahead and grab a towel or a blanket and wrap it around your ankle. And we're in this position here. We're gonna inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're gonna open up, placing both our shoulders on the ground here. Trying to get as close to the ground as we can. And with each exhale, we are relaxing into the ground. We don't wanna feel any of our muscles squeezing here. We're relaxing, sinking further into the ground. Nice, big, deep inhale into the belly, slowly exhaling um, out the mouth. And we're gonna do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. We can gently release that bottom leg. And we can flip on over to the other side here. So laying on the right side, you can go ahead and roll over. You don't have to flip over like me. So then again, top leg coming across. So that's my left leg now coming across, right hand or bottom hand on top of that knee. And then with our bottom leg, grabbing that with our top hand. So right leg, left arm, inhaling to prepare, exhaling, opening up onto the ground. If you cannot touch both your shoulders on the ground, that is totally okay. I am not there yet either, but we will get there with practice. And as we really focus on relaxing into the ground with each exhale, feeling that shoulder get really heavy will help us get it a little bit closer towards the ground. Nice big deep breaths here. And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. And we can gently release that bottom leg you can roll over onto your stomach or however you would like to finish out this stretch break or however it's easiest for you to get up. But that is going to be 
all the time I have for this afternoon. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope your hips and your spine feel nice and opened up after that. Um, don't forget, we do have one more class today. We have abs and core with Luis at 4.30 tonight. So that should be a really good class. Don't miss out on that. And we do have our virtual blood drive. Um, registration is open now. So we definitely highly recommend registering today for your appointment in June and participating in that Office Wars competition as well, some friendly competition and designed to run virtual race registration is also now open. So register on our SharePoint site, just type in Exos onto Autodesk One and you will find that there. Thank you all for coming and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.